Hey guys, this is MacHeads101 here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to make an icon for your website. So first I'm going to be showing you a few icons. Here I'm going to open up Firefox, you can use Safari or whatever you want. As you can see, Google has a G, Apple has an Apple sign, and YouTube has a YouTube thing. So, how do you make one of these? I'm going to be using Photoshop. Now, one of the most important rules, and one of the only rules to making these, is it has to be 16 by 16 pixels. So where it says pixels, you're going to want to make it 16 by 16. Also, I'm going to make it be RGB color because that's the easiest thing for me. And then I'm going to just click OK. Now let's make that a little bigger burger and press Apple Plus a few times. That makes it bigger. OK. Now to make a cool background, you can use the background tool or known as the gradient tool. Select two different colors and then do this and it'll make a combination like of it flowing in between it. Now you can just like um, take the text tool if you don't have very good handwriting or you can just try writing it out. I'm gonna be using the text tool and you can write uh, first off you wanna make it much smaller because it's just 16 by 16 pixels so I'm gonna make it like 2. Now you can type Mac heads 101 and then it's not going to be very good quality since it's just 16 by 16 pixels so the bigger you make it the better quality it's going to get so I'm just going to be actually showing you um, how to write it out instead I was just showing you how to draw it so you can use the paintbrush tool or the pencil tool I'm going to be using the paintbrush tool Let's make that like green and let's write out. Obviously, it's going to be doing this since it's being weird. All you have to do is change the op opacity and stuff. And so, or you can just deal with it if you like it to like match. So, I'm going to be making one big M for Mac heads. Not going to make it very good since I'm just showing you. And you don't have to make it perfect since it's going to be tiny and not many people are going to be able to see it from very up close besides you. So now if I zoom out, that looks like an M. So I can save that. Also, it has to be a format. It can be whatever format you want, but then you're going to have to change it. I'm going to make it a PNG for now. And, and now you're going to have to call it Fav Icon. Because that's what something's called when it's an icon. Then you say OK. And then you can quit. Now you see I have Fab icon there. You want to press Enter and rename it the ICO. Use ICO. Now, now that you have that, if you have a website, I can show you. All you have to do, you don't have to do this on every page. You just have to do this on one page. Uh, I'm going to bring up the code of my website is you have to put in this one line of code and I'll put it in the um, description of the video I'm just going to be showing you so I'm going to open this with uh, Dreamweaver Adobe Dreamweaver a great um, HTML editor you can edit the code mode and the regular mode and then you can preview it in anything you want so as you can see this is my code this is the split and this is the design. So I'm going to go into code mode. And in the head of your document, you're going to want to type in this one thing. Link space REL equals quote shortcut space icon quote space href equals quote slash favicon dot ICO quote and then enter bracket. So now if I preview this in Firefox, um, this is what my site looks like, previewed in Firefox. And normally you should get a little thing there, but since this is on the real web, it's not going to work. And also, you're going to want that picture to be in your home directory. So um, thank you much. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, and please subscribe.